everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover the SQL, qu SQL question called Trips and Users. So first of all, let's read through this question. So first of all, we have the Trips table. It has six columns, ID, client driver, city, ID, status, request at, which has a date type. And also we have the user table, the user ID, whether it is Ben and the corresponding row. So the row is whether it is client driver or partner or something like that. So it asks us to write a single query to find the cancellation rate of the request with unbanned users. Each day between um, uh, October the 1st uh, to October the 3rd within 2013. So the cancellation rate is computed by dividing the number of the canceled requests with unbanned users by the total number of the requests with unbanned users on that day. So um, return result is in any other, but it should be rounded to two decimal points. So the query result is something like this, uh, as you can see. So first of all, um, I think we are pretty much there understanding the question. So let's just read, read through the query. So first of all, I define a temporary view and then client. So essentially, it's just uh, saying uh, the row is client and also it is not banned. And then I have another time preview, which is unbanned driver. So essentially, it is uh, has a status as the band is no and also the row is driver. So just remember, we have unbanned client and unbanned driver here. We are just going to use later on. And then we have the total, uh, like we have like the unbanned trips. So the unbanned trips is grouped by the trips the, the status. So the trip status can be anywhere like completed, canceled by driver, uh, canceled by uh, client, and also the request at, which is the date of the of the trip. So we have this unbanned trip defined having three columns: the status of the trip, uh, how and the corresponding, uh, the corresponding date of the of the trip uh, so those are the group group keys and also we have a cut the count which is uh, for example on certain date um, how many of the complete trips how many of the canceled by driver trip how many cancel how many by, uh, how many of the canceled by client trip so something like that so um, uh, let's see so and also it's worth to mention that I uh, do a inner join uh, to filter the band uh, the trips uh, initiated by band client or band driver and then uh, I have another time preview total and band trips which is essentially just a group by request at it is just uh, saying how many of the trips how many of the unbanned trips for each of the day and then I have another uh, thing which is uh, how many of the complete trips for each of the day uh, just uh, based on the unbound trips uh, temporary view and then uh, the then we what, what we what we do is uh, we are just going to do a left join between the total unbound trips with the complete unbound trips so uh, after that uh, and the, the join key is of course based on the date uh, of that so so in here, what we have is for each of the dates, we have the total number of the unbound trips and the total number of the complete unbound trips. So now we just do some mathematics here. So if the complete trip is like uh, something none, then we are just going to give it a zero. And then we run it to like a two uh, of the decimals. And then we have the corresponding column as cancel cancellation rate. And then we have the request at as a day. Uh, and also, of course, we need to limit the date based on the request at uh, because the condition is for us to just return the three days uh, of the cancellation rate. So that's pretty much it about the piece of the SQL query. If you have any question about the query or whatever, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, uh, please help subscribe to the channel, of course. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.